got, uh, let's see here. Where is Olivia? This is Olivia right here. <laughs> this is Hi, right there. we go. Hello, <laughs> Olivia. How are you? Good. I, uh, somebody told me you're five years old. Yes. And you were here to get better again. And what was wrong with you? Do you remember? No, she, was just, she was just born. She was actually born with a condition called transposition of the great vessels. Um, they actually didn't know she had this condition when she was first born. She just had failed her APGAR, set, uh, APGAR test, and they said, we're going to put her in the ICU. She just didn't look quite right, but they didn't know what was wrong. They said, she's just going to go to the ICU overnight. She'll probably come out. You'll probably have her back the next day. But um, five nights later, she was still in the ICU, and they, they, it was then that they found that she had this condition called transposition of the right vessels. What is yeah, I was, I was going to say, because we've had a couple of people that exactly what is that condition? That is where the heart, on top of the heart, there's the aorta and the pulmonary arteries. The aorta takes, um, you get, one takes the uh, oxygenated blood to the body and the other one takes it to the lungs to get the oxygen to go to the rest of the body. Well, they were switched. So her body, instead of getting the, the oxygen-rich blood, was getting the deoxygenated blood, which is not conducive to life. So. We had to get that test fixed very quickly. That's very well put. But by the way, I can tell you, you would not know it now. No, no. She's, she actually, when they were studying her case, when she was uh, finished, because she went home with a week after the surgery, they said she was one of the best recoveries they had ever seen for her size. And we go back um, once a year. We're actually going to be just going back this next month for her checkup. And just they do an echo and make sure everything's okay. But they've been doing the surgery for about 20 years, and so far outcomes are very good. And this was all done here in the valley? Um, well, she started off here in the valley, and then we went to Akron Children's over in Akron for the actual surgery. And, but well, the, right. We're going to try and fix that, so if, anything, if that happens again, nobody has to go to the Akron campus. We get it all done here. Yeah, that would, <coughs> that would definitely be wonderful to stay local because all your family is here, and it's, it's great to have the support. How about back. a shout-out to the docs? Oh, yeah, our doctors have been wonderful, and Dr. Grace Smith is the one who sees her um, now continuously, and if you need a pediatric cardiologist, I have nothing but amazing, wonderful things to say about her. She, she's wonderful. When she was actually found the problem, she pulled out a piece of paper and hand drew the entire heart and all the things that went with it and showed us exactly what was wrong in the nicest, most compassionate way. Took the panic out of it, right? Well, yeah, there's still panic, but uh, for, she made the best of, of a hard situation. We're very thankful. Well, I want to thank the records for coming by. We have Olivia, and you're, you're, you're five or six. Five. Which means this happened all during the time that we were raising money in the uh, radio fund. And these folks are just two more reasons why we do this once a year here at the Miracles of Promises Radio Thought. Sarah, Olivia, thank you very much. You're welcome. See, and this is why we want $120 out of people. <laughs>